Hey, welcome back to Foreclosure Friday. We got our hot bank owned home of the week here. And I want to make sure that you uh, pay attention to what makes this particular opportunity so unique. So we're in the heart of San Diego right now. We're in this uh, community called uh, Claremont Mesa. And it's just one community over from the water. And what's normally true in situations like this is you can get a little bit more home and you can get uh, uh, inside of a neighborhood that's a little bit more established and less of the transient atmosphere that you get from a lot of the more fast-paced neighborhoods. And you can get it at a price that is uh, not even competitive compared to what it's like to just be not more than a mile down. So let me walk you through what makes this home very unique. First of all, I love it when they open up the vault and they see it, when they open up the ceilings and they vault them like this, because it makes a small space like this feel like even bigger. And nice little benefit too, because it is bank home, you don't have a cellar. Whenever there's uh, wood blinds like this that are left, it's always a nice little boon, because again, it's a crapshoot. You don't know what you're gonna get from these bank home homes. The fact that there is a, a kitchen that's even been remotely upgraded. See, these, these aren't top of the line cabinets, but these are nice. You can actually work with these. You can move right in. Obviously, absent the refrigerator, the countertops aren't top of the line, but you wouldn't know it just from looking at them. This is actually a Formica, and uh, you know, just glancing across probably from the camera, you wouldn't even know that, that weren't, those weren't granite. And as you work your way through and through the uh, living area, The one thing that I think is most unique to point out is that uh, these have all been upgraded. Look, it's got a tiled-in enclosure. The um, faucets and knobs have all been upgraded since. And the Pullman here is a, uh, is a nice little feature that matches up with the rear. So as you come in through the master bedroom, I, you were using that term pretty loosely here. This probably isn't more than a 12 by 12 at best, but it does feature the, uh, the bathroom. And again, nice little uh, single sink here, which has obviously been upgraded. Uh, the floor is tiled, again, matching the uh, shower enclosure, which has all been touched. And one of my favorite things is when you get some passive solar uh, deep inside of the housing structure so that you don't have to use uh, light to illuminate your morning crowning jewel of any San Diego piece of real estate is the backyard. Perfect for entertaining. You get the patio cover here, which is actually in pretty good shape. You probably wouldn't have to tear this thing down like you find with a lot of the bank owns with a lot of termite damage and dry rot here in the area. And a cute little feature for the kids is this one comes complete with a uh, very questionable rickety um, tree fort there. So Junior can, uh, can uh, seek out his wiles there with the rope swing. I like this one. I've chose this one as my hot bank owned home of the week because you get a nice big chunk of real estate. You get a nice big footprint. This thing is just over 1,500 square feet. It's a three bedroom, one and a half bath. It doesn't have that full second bath. And you can pick it up at a price at just over $300,000 for being a hop, skip, and a jump off of the coast where the price has started about half a million. So, mom, dad, summertime is near. And with this ringer right here, exemplifies why this is the hot bank on home of the week. Close enough. <laughs>